is what we call hater shit. There is no better term. Without makeup on, with the Muse app, I'm always like, oh my god. But with makeup on, with the Muse app, it's like, hello. Hello. Also, I really want to tell you guys what's been going on. There's so much that I have to catch you up on, but I'm not permitted to do so until um, the order of silence is lifted. So I cannot wait. Um, I'm very, very eager to share my story, but um, I'm so sad right now and I and I'm not I can't like get into it. And you guys are my biggest support system. So thank you guys so much. And I really appreciate you, even if you think you, like, don't make a difference, you do. And, um, someday soon, I'll be able to tell you. What's your impact? How many days of your life do you deserve to be harassed? I'm not a celebrity. I don't make celebrity bank. I don't have celebrity security. I don't have celebrity wardrobe. I'm just a mom. Heather Gillespie, when Heather G, Mama Tup. So forth. Where are my sponsors? <laughs> Three twenty-eight to move forward. So for the update, I'm still um, wearing the same shoes with holes and uneven soles as I was. Oh look, there's Xavier following behind her. Why could they never walk side by side? Why should she always be walking in front of them? A year and a half ago. Um, just had a baby, so don't really fit my clothing. Um, <laughs> but she said you already lost like so much weight. And I'm doing my best to make the best of a situation that continuously gets progressively more complicated each day. Um, I'm also not being permitted to discuss certain aspects of the situation um, by court order. So this is an exact repeat of what went on four years ago that I want nothing to do with. Um, and I would like it to stop immediately. With regards to housing, we are in a homeless shelter. Um, and I'm very grateful for that. We've been there since the birth of Weston. Um, and I receive $450 a month from TANF. Um, but they've put that on hold because there's a five-year limit. Um, everything that I had went to buy, you know, clothes and stroller yeah, and yeah, car seat for true. my son. Um, and then the big kids. Wait a second. So that was cash? I thought that was food stamps for some reason. So that was that her cash assistance? Because she was talking about everything else. That was not food. Obviously, she did not spend all that on that. I just send the groceries and, you know, visit them as I can. Um, I'm still sending out 50 to 300 resumes every single month. And you can find that information posted in the bio section. Um, so click on the bio section. where That it says doesn't make it real, Heather. Just because you put, you put something up there, it doesn't make it real. Does that mean you pre-freaking submitted it? Go inside. Go inside and leave us a lot. You go get a damn job. You don't need to let us know and like the bio underneath there are little circles called highlights one of them is called bio so you can click on that and find my resume if anyone has any um, employment opportunities please let me know and if you'd like to donate let me know and we slept through breakfast today but the good news is that um i can get some exercise i so wanted breakfast. Breakfast. to use one day to Bitch, I wake up and i get me coffee just rest in bed all day to have no mental exertion, no physical. That's literally what you do is lay up in your bed all day. Physical exertion, I'm. And we slept through breakfast today, but the good news is that um, I can get some exercise. I wanted to use one day to just rest in bed all day to have no mental exertion, no physical exertion. I'm five weeks postpartum. I have had very, very few of those days over the last several ten years. Um, so my plan was to just be relaxing. Um, God had other plans. So now we're taking a walk. Uh, we're going to go look and see if we can find some gym shoes that are like 30 or $40 at Ross. And Xavier is being so kind as to buy me a big breakfast. His wife, who just had a baby. Is she pulling something? Like, do they have... Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. But does she have, like, a, a wagon or something? 
is my main um, issue is that I have my phone bill. Oh my gosh, here we are again. You think I'm kidding? I'm blocking your cash app and I will put mine up there if I want to. Where are my sponsors? Who has been here my entire pregnancy promising this situation would be resolved? Housing, income, and my children being with me? Anyways, my main um, issue is that I have my phone bill, my shoes, uh, the, the entire wardrobe is down to three pairs of or four pairs of... Okay, so she needs uh, an entire wardrobe, pretty much. Leggings, most of them have holes in them. And... Um, Easter is on Sunday, oh, so yeah. I always do an Easter egg. There you go. Easter egg. Did she just say Easter egg hunt? I know she said that she needs some baskets. And um, Easter is on Sunday, so I always do an Easter egg hunt for my children. If you've been following... How have you always done an Easter egg hunt for your children every year? How is that possible? I don't think I don't think you did one last year. Uh, you, I don't think you're going to be able to do one this year. How do you think that's going to be possible for you, Heather? the beginning... You know for a fact that this situation was not caused by me, so uh, I wouldn't be asking if it was. Um, if anyone would like to donate, please do so via Cash App or send me an e-gift card for Target um, or Amazon. Thank you so much. And my, my um, Cash App account is posted right here. And with regards to accountability, I'm talking about the fact that I was four years ago in my own home with an income. I was selling renewable energy with One Energy Solutions for RPA and Inspire. I was making a decent weekly wage. My children lived with me. And then I was hurtled into this black hole of sorts that I, I can't see a doorway out of yet. And every single time I talk to anyone about it, it's like they understand what I'm talking about and tell me that resolution is on its way. And then there's like a whole other set of brand new people who are like, well, what's going on here? Like, where are all the people who were here since day one so that I don't have to keep explaining this? Are you guys still alive? Ever yes, that's why everyone knows the deal and you're freaking crooked as if. Everyone okay? And on top of that, we have court tomorrow and no money for a bus pass. And I need a bus pass so I can go to my baby Alexis and drop her off an Easter basket. The big kids. Um she always begs for freaking money for bass, bus bass. <laughs> bus passes. But yet she always manages to get on the bus because, I mean, don't you think being at a shelter, you would be granted a bus pass at least? I'm just sending them some candy from Amazon and $10 through Cash App for lunch. But the the baby, like I said before, she deserves a curated Easter egg hunt. And so I would like to make her an Easter basket, as I've done every other year of my children's lives, and bring that to them. In order to do so, I need a bus pass. 328-24, Heather Gillespie. That year in the tent was not for nothing. God is blessing us now, and I just have to keep faith and make it through these next few steps of the process. Please continue to donate. Please continue to donate, pray, and offer words of support and encouragement for me, my family, and each other. Prayers is what you need the most, Heather, right now. And it's like... It's so scary because it's like, what if she does do what she needs to do? But then as soon as she does get him back, all hell breaks loose again. And for my next trick, I'll be creating an outfit for court tomorrow out of $32. Oh, I'm so excited. Let me say it right away. I would like to say you try it on, please. And you could do like a photo shoot. That would be wonderful and beautiful. Please do that for us. And a maternity dress. You suck. You don't deserve a maternity dress because you are no mother. Boo. Where are you going to model with? What did he just say? What would you say about my mama? Where are you going to model with? Okay, so now as I prepare for my afternoon pump, I have to come on and be like, okay, so I'm asking my sponsors to send me money for shoes. <laughs> Of course, let's get right right to the point. Let's pump in, ask for everything we need. Got a bus pass. And I'm freaking out over Easter and getting my kids their Easter baskets. Oh, and I'm all. freaking out because I had nothing to wear in court. But now I have my outfit for court planned out. 
I have a safe place, you know, to sleep. And I think that the transition from being thrown outdoors for such an extended period of time and doing without for so long is the constant reminder that now you're okay, you're okay, you're okay. Um, and that's, that doesn't interrupt with, you know, daily life. It just makes the people around you um, have to either get out of the way so that you can go through your, your process yourself of remembering that you're okay, or the people around you need to be supportive. You know, if they can't be supportive, they have to just leave because this is something everyone... More counseling talk. Oh, ended perfectly. Okay, one twenty-five p.m., if you can offer employment opportunities, please click on the bio, highlight, and view my resume. So as I get back into the space and prepare for my afternoon pump, this is take four or five of this. Um, I have to remind myself as I'm breaking out for my court outfit tomorrow and bus pass money to get my kids their Easter baskets. We just spent, you know, a year plus in a tent. Um, you know, I have not been able to earn my own money. And there have been several other abuses. I'm in a safe place now. And part of trauma healing and recovery is the constant reminder to self that you're in a safe place now, you know, and, and that reminder to yourself comes along hand in hand with your support system. And if you don't have a support system, it's increasingly difficult to readjust. So everything is okay. We'll figure out the Easter basket. I know, right? She's she talking to somebody, a counselor, caseworker, priest, somebody. It's, we'll figure out everything like we always do. <sighs> Deep breath. Also, you guys, I forgot to mention, two more people were, were placed in their apartments, which is the best news ever. Every time I hear someone saying wow. that, I get so happy because I know how it feels. Um, to not have a place and because that means you know we're that much closer so That's keep on crazy. praying for everyone in this situation um, because there are solutions and I mean what more could we ask I'm low-key pretty fucking scared for it it's, it's such a blessing my third personal blog to be taken offline since 2020 the new one is at hg1 heather g years of work documenting theories and sensitive situations and my personal mem memories of my family and experiences gone again those pieces of content are priceless and it is incredibly discouraging to be starting over yet again hey guys if my sponsors are here and they do not know my regular personal blog has not been moved it was taken down again this is the third or fourth one that's been taken down at 15.2 thousand the other one thirty thousand or fifty thousand or seventeen thousand or eight thousand uh those are all my different blogs that have been either hacked frozen or taken down so uh sponsors if you're here i i need money for bus passes for the week i need money for the phone bill i need we all we all need the monies we all need all the monies money for the wardrobe um everything has kind of been at a standstill and there's another um personal blog up and i'll tag it right here um it's one hg no hg one heather g um and I'm going to be changing it to my same vanity name that I had as soon as the 14-day period is, is lifted so that I can. The best weight you'll ever lose is the weight of other people's opinions of you. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, accounts that I've all grown by myself um, and that were all either removed, hacked, or taken offline. And this is just since 2020. Heather Gillespie, one Heather G. This account was hacked in 2021. All my passwords changed and Insta never answered help tickets to unlock. This account grew to 8.6 thousand and was hacked in 2022. This account was created in 2014 and taken offline in 2020. Um, so I had a primary account primary to that. I'm sorry, prior to that. Um, and that is also gone. Um, and here they are. Praying Lent, Day 38, God's watchful care and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus, Philippians 4, 7. You aren't saving anyone if you are tearing someone else down. The good cancels the bad re and re-strategize, 5.59 p.m.
Hashtag, if you know, you know. As I have always said, if you reaching your goals put someone and their children and family um, in a space to suffer inhumanely, especially, it should definitely go without saying that you should swerve, you know? Um, I really want everyone to be working on the impact campaign. And like I said before, rather than pointing the finger at others to take accountability that belongs to them, um, asking the question. That's right. Take accountability. To take accountability that belongs to them, um, asking the question, what is your impact? Yourself and the people around you. How have your actions and behaviors impacted everyone? Not just the people who you see. I think that's the way to get people to take accountability for their own behaviors. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. He's developing, like he's... His features are coming through more. Like it is here. His eyes are just opening so big. He's like stretching. Oh, my sweet precious baby.